In this demonstration, I'll show you how to convert the scanned image from raster to vector. So that's converting it from a scanned image into AutoCAD. If somebody had to redraw this drawing from scratch, either tracing over the original or drawing it from scratch, it would take quite a long time. But the tools that we have in RasterCAD Plus enables you to convert from raster to vector. So this is a scanned image of a building layout. So if I use this command here, raster to vector, it then says, right, pick the raster data you want to convert. Well, I could draw a window around it so that it highlights an area. But if I use this one called fence, IOP fence, and then just draw a line that overlays this line in the middle, here, yeah, this line. What it will do is it will follow that line until it comes to a break. So if I hit return, everything that's green is going to be converted. So what it's done, it's followed that line until it's found a break. So if I zoom in up here, there's my break. But because you're still in the selection method, then I can still add more to the selection. I can keep adding until I'm quite happy with everything that I've got. When you're ready to convert, you hit return. We can do two types of conversion. CAD, which is lines, circles and arcs. Contour, which is polylines and splines. So that's used for maps, outlines, logos, things like that. So this is a CAD drawing, so I want to do CAD. I want to keep all my lines orthogonal, so that keeps them horizontal and vertical. I don't have any arrow heads. I don't want to save the raster. If I save the raster, then it will overlay the vectors on top. And if I say OK, then everything that's been highlighted has now been converted to lines, circles and arcs. So if I zoom out, everything there that you see can now be saved as a DWG. So if you had to go through and redraw that drawing from scratch, it would take you a long time just to get it to as the drawing is now.